Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's, who have got an Audi Q5, 2 litre TDI 40 S-Line Quattro, finished in Daytona Grey Pearl Effect paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 19 inch 5 twin spoke star design alloys. Bodywork is also in very good condition. At the back you get an electric tailgate and a nice large boot as you would expect from a car of this size. Um, the back seats will fold down if you need any extra space and the centre seat will fold down to give you some through loading if you need it. This car's got MOT until the 31st of the 1st 2024 and we'll come with a full Audi service history. So inside we've got uh, the S-Line Alcantara and leather sports seats, really nice quality, uh, nice and comfortable, um, you've got decent bolts, well big bolts on the side and the base to keep you in place and you've also got um, some under thigh support as well which you can adjust. Uh, you'd also have four way electric lumbar support on the front seats as well and at the back you've got the same seats with the exception of the centre seat which is just leather. Uh, this car comes with a good amount of specs, you've got the tech pack which provides the virtual cockpit which you can see here, um, various different views you can have, you've got a full screen view and then you've also got a close up view for the dials, you can also change what's in the dials as well, um, then you've got uh, all your driving data on there, your consumption, average speed, stuff like that. Moving across you've got your radio or media, so you can scroll through there and change um, to whatever you want whether that be on your Bluetooth or your radio. On there you've got your um, telephone as well, um, so it's currently showing the favourites box so you can set favourites on your phone um, and they will come up on here. You've also got your call list on there um, and uh, something else as well which I can't remember, uh, contact list as well sorry. Um, and then finally you do have the sat nav uh, which when widescreen you get this massive uh, sat nav view. Um, so when you've got a route set on the car's sat nav obviously that will show on there. Um, it's a really really nice feature. Um, and the quality is really good in terms of uh, the visuals as well. Uh, really nice system. <clears throat> On the main screen, uh, with it having the tech pack, you've also got a bigger central screen as well. You've got DAB, FM, AM radio. You do also have Audi smartphone, so that is Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. Um, if you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through, then you can do that just via Bluetooth as well. Like I said, you've got Bluetooth um, audio on here, you do also have a CD player which is located just in the glove box and you do also have two SD card slots available if you want to put music on an SD card uh, and put that in there uh, and then you've also got an aux input as well. Um, you've got various different sound things you can have as well, so this has got the Audi sound system uh, so you can change the treble, the bass, uh, the fader, stuff like that on there as well. <coughs> Moving up to the car settings, uh, this is the main car settings, you've got Audi Drive Select, various different drive modes including individual setting, so you can change the engine and gearbox and the steering to suit what you prefer, uh, that's my preferred setup, so you get a sharper throttle response with the dynamic engine and gearbox, um, and then you've also got uh, the lighter comfort steering as well, so you've still got easy manoeuvrability as well. Uh, you've also got your driver assist on here, various different driver assist settings including your parking aid which you can turn the volume up, down, change the turn. Uh, then you've got your rain sensing wipers, stuff like that on there. Then on the service and checks, you've got your service interval, um, so that will show when your next service is due. Um, you will get a reminder close to the time, whether that be due to the time constraint or the mileage. Um, but if you want to keep an eye on it, then you can do that just on the service and checks as well. Also on the service and checks is the oil level monitor, so this with as the same as a lot of modern cars doesn't have a traditional dipstick you've got an electronic oil level monitor uh, so if you want to check your oil level then you have to go on there and it will load up and say what your oil level is <coughs> and finally you've got your map uh, so it's the same map that's on the driver's display um, and you can change the zoom level day or night view uh, points of interest stuff like that on there and that will transfer to the driver's screen as well. <clears throat> it's a really nice, um, easy system to use, but if you are using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you're probably just gonna plug your phone in and use um, Google Maps Waze or Apple Maps. 
Moving down, um, we've got a three zone climate control. So you've got a temperature for the driver, the passenger, and one for the rear as well. You can sync them all up as they are now. So when you change the driver, the passenger, and the rear will change. Um, same with the temperature. You'd also have heated front seats, uh, which I'm making full use of uh, with it being so cold at the minute. And you've also got heated rear screen as well. <clears throat> Moving down, we've got your shortcut for the drive select modes. So you don't have to go through the main system if you want to quickly change it to comfort or eco. Um, so you can just scroll quickly through there. You've also got your start stop, um, your stability control and your parking sensors. So you've got parking plus, which is front and rear sensors with this selective display that will come on automatically when you put the car into reverse, but you can turn it on and off just by pressing the P button there. And then you do also have hill descent control as well, <coughs> which links to the cruise control and you will get a little icon just on there when that's activated. Also got 12 volt socket, a USB and your push button start. So this is keyless start. Um, one of the USBs you will use if you use an Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, um, so it's whichever you prefer to use really. Uh, moving down, we've got the main controls for the infotainment system, or your shortcuts either side, your scroller to go through the menus, and your main menu button on there as well. You do also have preset buttons which you can use for radio uh, stations or contacts if you've got your Bluetooth connected. Got your volume control and track skip on a little dial here. And moving down, we've got your S-Tronic gearbox, so you've got a standard drive mode and a sport setup for the gearbox as well. In standard drive, it's set up more for efficiency, whereas in sport, it will um, hold the gears for a bit longer and optimise it for performance. Um, you'd also have the perforated leather, which is part of the S-Line trim. Also got hill hold and an electronic parking brake, little cubby hole, which I've just used for the key on there. And then you've got a couple of cup holders, and you do also have a wireless charging pad which is located just there which you can move forwards and backwards so if you don't want your phone to be seen you can shift that out of the way um, <clears throat> like so you also have a, another USB input and an AUX input as well uh, door bins are a decent size so you've got a good amount of space in the door bins the glove box is also lined with felt and is a good size um, so you can fit a good amount of stuff in there on the steering wheel, again, we've got perforated uh, leather on the grip area, part of the S-Line trim. You've got an S-Badge here. Um, at the back, you've got paddles for a manual, sportier style of driving. Left-hand cluster is all the stuff for the drive's display. And on the right-hand side, you've got your volume controls and your hands-free controls as well. Um, indicator stock on the left, cruise control and speed limiter just below. Rain sensing wipers automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors as well. <coughs> like I said, this car does have the four-way electric lumbar support. So if you've got any back problems or if you just want a comfier ride, um, then they do come in handy. Um, as I said, the back seats are also leather Alcantara with the exception of the central seat. And you do have a fold down armrest and then also the through loading as well <coughs> at the back you've got your temperature gauge sorry temperature control and another 12 volt socket and again good door bins in the rear to keep a large bottle and you do have alcantara and door cards as well it's a really nice car to drive um, it's very very comfortable it's a good size as well it's not massive but there is a good amount of space in there um, if you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock, please go to draytons.co.uk. It will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. And we do also have a range of finance options available. So if finance is something you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. Cheers. <laughs>